Hey yo! Welcome back to Battlefield everyone. I'm your host Monk and we are reviewing Kublai Khan matches. Um, it's actually just uh, the two matches that I had. Um, I don't think it's fair for me to like kind of go over other people's matches or stuff that you guys might be able to see on the store championships. You can go, you guys can go check it out on the Chance Cube um, Chance Cube's Twitch and they're currently putting on all the uh, past previous videos that they had on on their Twitch channel. Uh, on the YouTube too, so you can probably check out a lot of stuff out. I know the world stuff on uh, on YouTube right now, so guys, go check it out. The link is in the description below if you guys want to do that. And uh, yeah, so I give a huge shout out to the Chance Cube, uh, Jason, Mike, uh, Sarah, all that I've met over at Cubicon. Uh, thank you so much for broadcasting the event. Uh, you guys are incredible, and you guys are just like great people all together too. Um, just in general, thank you so much for everything. Um, but I wanted to do, uh, kind of like a post matchup, uh, things on my two matches that I had, uh, on the, well, at Kubicon. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this, um, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, I wanted to actually start it out from here right before we actually had some time, uh, to go over exactly what the event is. Uh, everyone at Cascade Gaming, so I just want to kind of give a huge shout out to them. Uh, the event went so smoothly and, until there was an issue with the buy the buy generator portion of the software um, and these individuals over here uh, the cascade games were so so great uh, Jeremy was such a good host um, as well as everyone else that's on the team there uh, highly suggest that you get with them um, they're more than willing to help out in any way shape or form uh, other kind of shout outs are Joey Joey's such a great, uh, such a great guy. Um, so glad to meet him. Uh, and there's just so many great people that went to this cats over here. But so many good people that were able to meet from this Kublacon experience. So if you guys haven't gone to a con or gone to a tournament, it is something that you should go to. It 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 emphasizes the stuff that you do. It might either show you that you guys really like the competitive scene. Or you really don't like the competitive competitive scene, but it does give you a broad emphasis on how the community is. Every single person that was there was so, I guess, welcoming, um, and also wanted to give helpful tips as much as they can. But wanted to do everything in their power to help out in in any way for everything. So, um, so we're doing our nice little shake up. Uh, this is Ben. Uh, my very first match of the GQ and also the very first match of the J uh, the GQ. Uh, he's playing his uh, Ethron E Talzin, which I never really tested against because honestly, I don't know. I just didn't. Um, and of course, I'm bringing my beloved Palpatine deck, the OG Palp deck. Uh, the link is in the description below, and my uh, if you guys want to get to that as well. Um, I didn't know what to expect from this, but I knew how oppressive it was going to be, and I was not ready to deal with that oppression to be honest um and you guys can see that in this match completely um we're talking it through we're just talking out and just like getting backgrounds on each other that type of thing again that's the biggest reason for these tournaments uh getting to know everyone and and it was great i was kind of doing a little plug for myself um to be honest um as well as just getting a little background on him he literally made this deck the day, the night prior, and the fact that he did so good with it just said so many things about how Ben is able to be, or how Ben is as a player. He's such a good player, and uh, you know, stick around and try to see exactly how I did in this match. But it was it was freaking fantastic. Um, guys, let me know in the comments below what 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 you see, either what I could have done or what he could have done differently. Um, we, you know, just let me know exactly what you guys have. Let's see here. Um, so he has Ulta Gunga. And then I have Main Plaza. Um, again, these these are both are really good matchups or uh, good write-ups already on SWDB. So if you guys want to go check those out, they're really, really good decks. Um, I do apologize for the glare, though. There's something that you can't really, really against and all that stuff too in, in these type of matches but uh, we'll just have to deal with it 
So, but it is Ethron and Ethousand that Ben's playing. I don't even know. Um, uh, biggest thing for this is too. So I haven't play tested against Thrawn Towson at this time, right? So I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but he as well has never faced a Palpatine. So he didn't know exactly how much damage it was able to do in such a short time period. Especially the version that I run with. Um, I do have Fortify, so I always start out with the shield no matter what. No matter what I roll out. And it's amazing uh, what I roll out for the very first roll of the very first match of the GQ, so I thought it was going to set the tone for like the rest of the uh, the whole tournament, so this is fun, this is good times. Remind me texting, I was texting my wife at that time, I remember that too, okay. she, uh, I was telling her I'm about to start my first match, she said good luck, right, so let me look at my um, I really needed her, her luck. Uh, so it looks like I have an aim already. Uh, oh, I ditch everything probably because there was no force speed in it uh, in my hand or resilient in my hand. Uh, for my version of Palpatine, you want to have one of those cards in my hand in in your first hand. In my deck, it's more of a force speed in my hand, but I get both, or if I get a resilient, that's fine with me. Especially against this deck. Talking about phones. Oh my god. Oh, I'm excited for later, guys. Ooh, I just got a text from Cat. Alright, so. I like, I love this pairing. Um, he's still shuffling up, trying to see exactly what he's going for. Like, the tier version, like, started getting, like, played. I played it with, um, the droid maker. I forget what it's called. The Separatist Lightning Crash. Oh, And I'd made, like, 15 no droids or whatever. It was that funny. Doesn't even sound I can't believe, like, like, I can't see that happening, getting 15 droids, but I... I wouldn't even know what to do against that. Like, if, even if it's like a 4 fun match, you're just like, I'm done. I don't know what to do. Especially if they all get indirect sides. 15 straight single rollouts would be OP. Uh, so, that first roll, like I was just saying, was that double blink. I can't... <laughs> Mr. Chip, thank you, by the way, for giving me uh, a nice little somewhat shot out on uh, the very first roll that I got. Straight fire. Um, so it looks like I had a doubt. I was trying, I, I swear to God, I was trying to like keep my hand out every time I looked at it so the people can see it above me. Okay, there you go. So I didn't get anything that I wanted, it looks like. No four speeds, no resilience. Uh, but I did get now you will die, frighten, aim, a doubt, and uh, feel your anger. Getting rid of doubt. He wants to get rid of all the mitigation he can. I get two two, double twos on Palpatine, also known as eight damage. I get a two and a two discard. Wait, is that a three? No, it's a three and a two discard. I go ahead and choose to do three on Talzin. Two damage is going to go to Thrawn. So I'm already feeling the the shakeup from Thrawn's activations. Uh, the fact that he's able to see my hand every single turn is not okay for me because I want him to always be kind of unknown of everything that's going to be done. We go ahead and go to the two with the Talzin ability. So now I got three shields, add three shields um, at this time. Um, in my head, I thought I that we were playing with main plaza still. So I was about to put the damage onto the, the battlefield, just like uh, a muscle memory, but it didn't really work out because <laughs> I forgot uh, he chose his battlefield. Oh my god, I'm already reliving this. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. I'm really contemplating what to really throw back. He took two monies on that last die with that focus.
All right, and he's passes. Uh, so it looks like since I did not put out anything, I didn't get another upgrade. Mm. Not a good show for me, especially against this deck. I need to be able to get that four speed out so I can do the uh, all-in plays, that type of thing. Ben, 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 Ben. This started a hectic time for me. I had no endurances in my hand, so I couldn't get my, my dice back out. So this ends up being, for me, a reason to start getting all of the resources that I can. All the ones. He goes and chose one, so he can get rid of... Oh, no, he said, he said zero. He either said zero or two. I didn't hear it. I talked too much. But yeah, so the whole reason now is, okay, fantastic. Now I can just start generating resources, so if I get the rise again... And I'll be able to just rise again, the damage away, and hopefully at that time I can discard a upgrade at that uh, beforehand, and then I can easily put uh, that upgrade on for free. Rolls out. Looks like he changed the two money. Use Talisman ability or uh, use Crystal Ball ability to look at the top card of my deck. It was a hidden motive, I think. Yeah, it was zero. I'm gonna discard one of the cards from my hand. One of the now you will dies. I have one left in my hand. One down. Uh, pass again. damage done to me did two more damage all right let's see what I want to do here because you know my whole hand <laughs> doesn't look like I took I didn't I didn't take resources oh no okay that's why I'm still deciding on ditching So right now it's still looking very stalemate-ish because I'm I'm, I'm able to get all this damage out and he continues to do damage to Thrawn uh, with the uh, best defense plays. No upgrades on my side though, no weapons on his side, so again, kind of stalemate. He has another best defense in his hand. He chose one. Can I get my two resources? No. There you go, I got my two resources back. Sure. So we both have a plethora of freaking resources to work with. Ben, you were scaring me so much here. Okay. Uh, go ahead and... I really didn't want you to take, um, two, three. Let me get like, the now you will die is that type of thing. Okay. And you got rid of both of my die. Again. No endurance, no resilient. Yep. But he did three more damage to Thrawn. Rolls out in a, a resource, a plus one resource, and a a one range. Tries to do, tries to go and just turn to die without me looking at it. Oh, a four speed. Finally, third freaking round in. Hidden motive, say pew pew. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Uh, I like how everyone fidgets cards, by the way. Everyone fidgets the cards around. Every single time that you always see someone playing uh, a card game. He's sitting on a rise again.
Two. You can get rid of one. You already know what they are. <laughs> okay. Um. He was such a good guy. Again, huge shout out to Ben. I'll go ahead and explain. Get that one damage. Does one more damage to me. I claimed. He goes and takes his resources since he needs more. And one more discard. Okay. Got rid of my. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna get two resources this time. I'm running out of resources. Uh, just Can't believe it. Mind. Got rid of like all my medication. I don't think, okay. Finally, hope was given when I was able to get a four speed. No, again, again. So we're both getting really horrible draws. He's not getting the upgrades he needs. I'm not getting the upgrades I need. An upgrade. I lose a feel your anger, he gets a feel your anger. Frozen Thrawn. He chose one. I have an altar now, so if I roll out the four speed, this is where it gets, gets really hit. He, uh, it looks like he said one. Got rid of swiftness. Swiftness right now, it didn't really matter on my, on my end. Oh my gosh. I can't even. Third earn in a row. No way to come back from it. This is what my deck is not supposed to be. <laughs> no matter what, I'm supposed to have something to get the dice back out. I can do this. I believe in you. I do one damage to Thrawn, actually. So now you will die the the, the freaking uh, four speed. So I can go ahead and turn it to a melee damage. And the one to throw on. Use Talzin ability. Now Crystal Ball ability. I think I misquoted earlier about uh, the battlefield. Let's remove all shields. Really? Can you just pull a few I'm trying, there? okay? Yeah. It's hard. No, yeah. man. At least you got two focuses over there to do something with. Yep. Here comes the, here comes the pain. I'll pay two. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Alter. Yep. Pay two for the defensive altar play. Change both of his pew pews to, um, to blanks. Makes him trigger to himself to possibly discard the reroll. I never really realized how 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 different it it is to play on a stream just for everything kind of being on the line. It's not really everything being on the line, but it being the first match. I really wanted to set the bar for the rest of the tournament. And Ben just made it made it crazy enjoyable because we were both laughing uh, back and forth, and that's what I absolutely love again about this community. You know what I mean? Freaking pay two finally. Resilient is out in play. Yeah. So if you mitigate one of my dice, then I get to re-roll it back in. But please, not even an action or nothing. So my anti-mitigation card now. And again, uh, big props to Ben because he has never played a Papa team. So now, first time he's ever seen like the cards that 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 can come out. Again, not rolling damage. I think I've only rolled damage once, and that was the first rollout for this game. Four billion actions about to be had. Did not get what he wanted. Thousand building. 
things to it too. Two more actions from the three steps ahead. Goes one. Force illusion going away. Thrawn, man. Thrawn. Alright, so I do have the aim play, though. Oh, yeah, one more action to be had. Because that was just the activation of Thrawn, and he also did the activation of Thousand. And try to spell right. removal. It's an odd number to remove it. All right, remember now, I get to resilient. Oh, I get to reroll this. Back to a resource. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and. I honestly don't remember what happens here. I think I discard the reroll. There it is. So I got a two discard, a, a resource, and then the four speed special. Uh, I think the only, yeah, just the doubt, so I still have a high ground in my hand. I can do an extra damage to somebody if, if they roll the damage. Overconfidence. Finally got another, another one, two, two actions to be had. Three damage to Talzin. Your damage. I should have guessed at this time that he had a rise again in his hand. But it doesn't look like he has the money to pay for it. And then lastly, I'm gonna do high ground, push this back out. No damage done to you though. No damage. It has to be a character die. So uh, high ground his other die away. It's not a character die. So no damage to be had. Zero. I'm gonna take the money. Just to secure himself that rise again play. He's gonna claim, he's gonna rise again. Go all the way down to two health or uh two damage on a thousand. Thrawn being at ten out of twelve. That's two shields on the Thrawn. I got the altar, endurances finally, and the rise again. Only four resources though. All right, rolling in. There's money. There's the damage right there. Double twos. Oh, that, okay. Ooh, and he gets the damage as well though. It's a thousand ability. I can do the swiftness alter play. If I want to. Go ahead and do the two on the other thousand. How much time we got left? Okay. Do more damage. He's at five on thousand. Uh, three health left with the shield on Ron. I always want to say uh, Tarkin. I don't know why. Pays the full three, has no resources left. It's wrapped the launcher on the Thrawn. Three. Two, 
Why didn't I play swiftness? Don't I have swiftness in that hand? That's where I saw it. No, no, yeah. No, okay, that's why. I had an all-in in my hand, not a swiftness. I was like, why am I doing the swiftness play? I'm recording, man. All right. Um. So let's go ahead and do three to thousand. So he rolls in uh, Thoron. There's three damage. Two damage more. Uh, two more damage from Palpatine pops. I kill him, or do you kill her? I can oh, do yeah, it with four yeah. solutions. He pops the Force Illusion. Ooh, we had Force Wave. Not really good against me. I was, all, I was so able just because of that force speed to live through this round. Um, yeah, that's so killer. So, three, and then it's just three. Right now, it's just okay, uh, so that one. Oh, wow. Well, one, right? So, three, right? Two. Okay. Then the two. Six. And then six. So, I'm just gonna add. Alright, six coming at me. It pays a resource. So oh, that's four, uh, three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One hit away from from lethal, and now I was scared out of my mind. Um, and I think this is where I, I got everything that I needed. Is that an aim play? No. Oh yeah, that is it. That's an all an all in if I'm not mistaken. He's trying to see if he needs to heal. He wants to he wants to roll in. Gets another force illusion on throne. I think I have a force illusion in my hand. I'm going to discard. I don't know what happened there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it looks like it was a, like, uh, Alter on on Enskin stream for a minute. Okay. This card to be roll. Or cards of discard. He goes and plays Witch Magic. Goes and gets three health back. The three uh three shields. Rolling Talson. Oh. Alright, choose you for the crystal. What do you get? You got uh one pew pew. Turns to a two. Oh, he turns uh, he turns it to a, a three melee on the heirloom. 
Goes in Thrawn. Force Illusion goes away. Should have played that the very first time, first of my turn. Such a great match, this match. Been back into it too. Like spectating, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh my god, like Star Wars Destiny, don't like, get me wrong, it is like all, it is about skill uh, on how to play a deck, how to do uh, so many different things, right? But, but, it's really about as well that luck of that dice roll. So if you don't, oh my gosh! So he only he only can do three right now. So that would only eliminate my shields. Um, and then he can do two damage. So he does the three, and this is where I kill him. Three damage there, that's eight. Two more damage. Can I sign both of them here? Huh? Can I sign both of them here? Even though it would no, be... it has to carry over. Okay. That's the shitty, <laughs> that's the crappy part about it. Yeah, so Palpatine ability, if you didn't know, uh, you, know you can't assign more damage to a character over their health uh, because, uh, you know, that's what the rules reference says, or, or rather, or whatever word that you want to say. Okay, uh, and so he was just double checking on that, which a lot of people want it oh, just yeah. to sign all the damage in. Dude, I'm serious. That you have me like freaking out right yeah. now. Such a great game, Ben. I don't. I didn't play test against Thrawn Talzin at all. <laughs> yeah. You had you had me at like on the ropes the whole time. I truly appreciate the match. Um, his father was there as well. Um, he wasn't there that day. Um, but he did end up coming the next couple days after that. So it was really great to meet both of them. Um, again, great shout outs to, to both of them. And thank you so much for the match, Ben. It was one for the ages in the, especially when the first start out, it's just crazy on these two matches were the most craziest that I, that I had through, through the whole tournament. Um, so thank you so much. It truly, truly is appreciated. Guys, let me know what you guys think of the round one, my Papa Teen deck versus um, versus Thrawn Towson. Um, see stuff that he could have done, stuff I could have done. And we'll kind of go from there. There's Jason from Chance Cube. Um, good shout out to him as well. Uh, Tyler, uh, right here actually, uh, is the individual that took day three with uh, Boba Seventh as well. So um, everyone was winding down, as you can tell, as the tables have cleared out. But such a great match, man. Uh, uh, guys. Uh, I'll pause it right here. But uh, truly appreciate you guys. If you guys want to watch it again, Chance Cube has it up on their Twitch, uh, their Twitch channel, uh, which again is linked right down below. So go check it out. Uh, they have a lot of great content. They do a whole lot of podcasts. Uh, go check it out, and trust me, you'll enjoy it uh, as well. You guys already know. Uh, I have one more after this. So if you guys want to watch that one, fantastic. Uh, or if you want to rewatch this one again, then you can go again to the Chance Cube and watch it again. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys like this. If you guys don't like it, uh, for me to do this type of post uh, post matchup review, I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Truly appreciate it. And catch you guys around next time on that battlefield. Is it a Tuesday yet? I wish. Peace.